Hey, Bobby. What's up everyone? I have a ton of little things to do today, so I thought it would be fun to bring you along and do one of these studio vlogs. I'm done taking care of a bunch of emails, so now it's time to pack everything up and go into the shred quarters to get some work done. Let's go. So my home studio is a complete mess. JC has been out of town for a week and as a result, I am a complete mess. Come home. Come home. <laughs> so last night we played D&D here in my dining room. <laughs> it was a super fun game. It started off kind of slow because the players got trapped in a jail cell that they couldn't get out of, but things ramped up quickly. And this is the aftermath. The players defeated the White Raven, who was enslaving a giant silver dragon and a bunch of kinku little crow people. But Grundle, Scoop, and Ibram prevailed, and now they are in charge of this poorly drawn floating wizard tower. Anyway, we gotta pack up the laptop so we can go do work. Dice. Never leave home without a set. I feel like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> All right, puppy, I'll be back. Oh, so this is kind of cool. My Aunt Jane works in a printing, at a printing company and scored me this giant ream of offset paper. So I got big plans for that ream of paper. I'm gonna use it for D&D maps and I have an idea for a really cool project that is gonna take probably a very, very long time to finish. But uh, stay tuned. Okay, the first thing, excuse the ladder, I have it here because eventually I'm gonna paint a mural on this wall. More projects that take more time, right? Anyway, the first thing I have to do is take some photos of my book. So I found out yesterday that it is available in comic shops today. As I'm filming this, it's the 9th of October and the book doesn't officially come out until the 22nd of October. So I, I only have one copy of the hardcover, one copy of the soft cover. I don't have copies to sell yet, but I will. So when the book officially launches, on October 22nd, I will have special copies available on my website. I'll sign and draw in each order and you'll get a special little gift that goes with it. If you can't wait, find a comic shop that has it, but if you can, I'm gonna have a really cool version available on my website on the 22nd. But for now, we gotta take some pictures for Instagram. That light box thing that I have, JC and I got it as a, like a backup scenario for our big home setup and uh, not a fan. So I think I'm gonna try and just work out a different way to take a cool picture of the book. All right.
Okay, this is crazy. Uh, like I said, the book comes out closer to the end of the month, but I, I guess technically it's out now. It's in comic shops now. And I'm gonna do a video all about the book and making of it, how long it took, the process, everything like that. But I won't get super into it, but I am too excited to not tell you a little bit about the book. This is part of the Maker Comics series. There's a bunch of different books by different artists that are all about different things. Mine is about making your own comics, which is something very dear and close to my heart. It follows Maggie and Rex on their adventure to save a comics library all while teaching you how to create your own comic books. So I'm, I'm just stunned that it's out there, even in a limited way, it's out there. People can read it and I can't wait to, to hear what people think, but also to see the comics that people make based on the information that lies within. Man, I'm feeling overwhelmed is all. My head's spinning a little bit, but in a good way, in a good way. I'm, I'm excited. So the book is out in comic shops now, and comic shops are actually a big part of the book. So let me show you this part in the book. Okay, so this page, the characters drive up to Floyd's Comics, and Stephen Floyd is my good friend who runs 1% Press with me, and he also owns a shop that looks like this called Gutter Pop Comics. It's in Buffalo, New York, and so I kind of modeled the, the comic shop in the book after Gutter Pop Comics. This is my friend David Palazzi, who in the past few years gotten super into comic books. There's the orc version of Steven, but actually, let me flip to the very end. Steven is actually in the book. I'm not gonna show off any spoilers or anything. This right here, is Stephen Floyd, and there's a bunch of other people standing in this line. You might recognize JC there, and uh, Sam Tabor right there. But yeah, this is Stephen Floyd, owner of Gutter Pop Comics. That's just a cool one, one little Easter eggy type thing. I threw in a ton of little details like that in this book. I don't think any one person could catch all of them because some of them are super personal, like my friend David being in the background. And yeah, there's, there's a ton of little hidden things. I'll be showing some more off in the future, leading up to the book's release. <laughs> All right, so the real reason I came into the office today was to get some work done on my website. I'm trying to update and redo my website specifically for this book launch. I have a ton of fun stuff that needs to go up there. I'm completely redesigning the whole thing. I've already taken all the pictures of everything and I'm just going through and editing them and getting them ready to put up on the website. So I think I'm going to have a bunch of GIFs on the website that sort of show off the different versions. So these are the holiday cards we do every year, and instead of having one card on each image, it's just going to be one GIF of all of the holiday cards going through. It's very tedious work. A big reason for me wanting to redo my website was to make a better portfolio for myself. So 
I kind of realized that a lot of what I do is making things become real. You know, I, t I talk about it on this channel all the time, but going from just an idea in your head into an actual real thing, whether that's uh, a book or a skateboard or some enamel pins, t-shirts, you know, a bunch of different stuff. I think my new website is gonna be about showcasing, making cool, fun images into real things. So every image on the website will be photo of the real thing, the actual thing. You know, I didn't wanna have just a portfolio filled with digital images. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I think maybe there's some good advice in there on how to have a successful portfolio website. And it's something I've been struggling with when thinking about how to redo my website is because it's, it's just as much a presentation of your work as it is the actual work. So I think the most important things to include in a portfolio website is showing the kind of work you're trying to get very clearly, having a distinct point of view, you know, showing your style. I guess it's like giving somebody a reason to hire you. And then maybe what I'm learning in the process of making this website is showing off your work in a cool way. Because I think, at least for me, I don't necessarily think my illustrations and design work are like mind blowing. Like I don't think I could have just a row of images. In fact, I know I can't just have a row of digital images of my stuff and expect people to hire me. My thought is if I can clearly show someone that I can take an idea or a concept and make a fun image out of it and turn it into a real thing, then I, th then I think that's something people would wanna hire me for. I think there's, there's definitely plenty of people out there that have amazing portfolios that can just put up, you know, 10 pieces of digital artwork and people will hire them for that. But I don't think I'm that person. So I'm trying to figure out a way to really show off the value that I would bring to a client. I hope that makes sense, right? Is that good advice? I don't know. What in the world are you talking about, man? I'm just talking things I'm thinking about as I'm going through my day. So I might not be making any sense at this point. Yeah. <laughs> As I've been working today, I think I have an idea for a Star Wars comic. JC made this for me. It's a cross stitch, is that what it's called? I love it. Okay, so that was a fun little uh, distraction. I don't know, my head's been spinning all day because of the, the book stuff, it coming out early and me not being ready for it. Ah. But this was a, a fun way to kind of do a little bit of drawing, clear my head, but also work on some future ideas of this, this Star Wars comic that I might do. I think it'd be really fun just to make this quick little comic before Rise of Skywalker comes out at the end of the year. The geese, the goose is coming to get me. <laughs> but yeah, got a bunch of work done on the website, got some book stuff taken care of and this drawing done. The sun is going down outside, so I'm gonna run into the shred quarters and skate for a little bit, get my exercise in, and then it'll be time to go pick up JC from the airport. All right, let's go skate.
Sam's here. Oh. I was trying just to do a fakie ollie and he suggested a new trick. Fakie front side 180. Fakie front side 180. So I'm gonna learn a new trick. Let's do it. Start with that, right? That was it without the ollie. Yep. Oh. That was basically it. Dude. That was good. Don't take that foot off. Dude, that was it. That was it. You just did it. Oh, you you have it. you have it down. That was perfect. Thanks, in, your, in your face, you're welcome. Oh my gosh. Okay, whoo, red in the face. It's dark out, I totally expected just to go in there and practice a few tricks. That's usually how I end the day here at the Shred Quarters. But Sam showed up and I was doing fakie ollies and he was like, why don't you learn how to do the fakie front side 180? I ended up learning a new trick. That feels good, that, that always feels good. I am gonna go help Sam film a video here and then go to the airport to pick up JC. Finally, she's back! Let me know what you thought of this style of video. I am usually much more planned out and I have an idea for what is gonna happen, but today I just started filming and didn't know where the day was gonna take me. So yeah, I'm interested to know, leave a comment for me below if you like this sort of video and I'll do more studio vlogs. Lots more stuff, especially about my new book. My book! Thank you so much for checking this out and I'll see you in the next one.